Hey everybody, I just wanted to take a few moments and share with you how I get sharp images in my camera. I teach photography all the time and one of the things that people always ask me or email me after they've taken a class or I have a lot of photographers that will email me, how do you get super sharp images? And today I'm going to share with you my tips and tricks for doing that. Now, I will say, I am not the most technical photographer. Like there are photographers that know far more than I do when it comes to shooting and to their camera and to their settings. Um, there is loads and loads of information and if you YouTube, um, you know, camera settings and sharp images, you'll find a bunch of information. But I'm gonna try to give you really simple, practical tips for getting sharp images in your camera. So just starting off, the a few things that I always recommend is that you make sure you're shooting at a really low ISO because the higher the ISO in your camera, the grainier and fuzzier your image, okay? I also shoot, my style of shooting is shooting at a really low f-stop. Um, it's just the way that I get my images really bright. It's the way that I've always shot. I've not changed that for 14 years. So for me, I'm always trying to shoot at a really low f-stop, but that means that you can have some focal issues and um, you can have some blurrier pictures. So my goal, even for families like as big as that one behind me, um, I'm shooting at the lowest f-stop I can, at the lowest ISO I can with a super fast shutter speed. If I can do that and keep that in my mind, then I will have super sharp images. That and what we're gonna talk about today, which is also called back button focusing. And this is a game changer. And so many photographers are not using um, the back button focus feature on their camera. So I'm gonna show you what that is. I am using a Nikon, I mean a Canon. I don't own a Nikon, but I will list for you all the information on how to um, do the same thing if you are shooting in a Nikon. So this is a Canon Mark III. Um, it has an 85L 1.2 lens on it. You can get great images even with your kit lens. Um, but this is what I use and it allows me to shoot at a really low f-stop, f2. Okay, so that being said, um, what we're going to do today is we're taking the focus where we normally would put it, which is normally we've been shooting with our focus um, controls and our shutter, we're going to move it to the back of our camera. So we're taking it all off the front end and putting it in the back end, which will give you um, a way of locking in that focus and not having to reset in between each shot. So you can shoot something that's moving to you and lock in and you still get a super sharp image without having to reset every time you hit that shutter. Game changer, okay? So this is for those of you who are shooting um, sports or if you're just shooting dance or running kids or whatever, you want to make sure that you learn how to use back button focus. It will change the quality of your image, I promise you. Now, it will take practice. So you have to give yourself a little bit of grace and you have to allow yourself to learn how to use it because instead of just holding this down, you're having to push this button back here, but it really does make a huge, huge difference. Okay, so the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to look up here, okay? These are your AI Servio, your one shot, okay? The way that we change that is by hitting this AF drive. Do you see that? Okay, we're gonna hold that down and use our function key up here and toggle between. So I'm gonna put down, um, you can do one shot, AI focus or AI Servio. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat that you really wanna stay in AI Servio. Why? Because it will help keep anything that's moving. If you're dealing with moving objects, that is the way to get the sharpest image. Okay, so if you're shooting a large family, if you are shooting kids, if you're shooting moving animals, anything that has the potential of moving, keep it in AI Servio. So I keep mine in AI Servio probably 85%, 95% of the time. Sometimes when I have like a senior, a high school senior, and I know that they're gonna stay put, um, or I'm shooting like a plant, 
I'm gonna put it in one shot because one shot is definitely the sharpest image that you can possibly get. But for the most part, we are all shooting something that's gonna move just a little bit and we wanna make sure, because even that slightest bit of movement, like even if you have a group of three people and one person just does that, not even that, that's gonna show up in your image. So you want that AI Servio, okay? So let's keep that change and change that in your camera. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the menu mode right here, menu, and you're gonna go into camera functions or camera custom controls, but it's under camera functions. Okay, let's see right there. All right, by doing that, we're gonna hit the set button. All right, you're following along, I see. And then now you're gonna go into the AE lock. Once I get to the AE lock, see it right there? I'm gonna make sure, and you can toggle back and forth with this, I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the star. And when I'm on the star, I'm gonna hit set. Then I'm gonna come down to the next part, which is the AF on. And that's your metering, okay? And again, I wanna make sure that AF is on. And I'm gonna hit set. All right, now you're set. So what that means is that from now on, when you go to shoot, you can put on the AF button in the back right here. Okay, everybody looking at that? That's it, that's the magic button. You're gonna hold that down and click. And if I move, I'm just gonna hold it and my camera is going to register every time that I click and it's gonna be super sharp, okay? So we're gonna go over those few things really quickly. Lowest ISO possible. As much as you can, shoot at a really low ISO. Bump up your shutter speed because a shutter, fast shutter speed will help with sharpness of image. Then we're gonna change that AI, you're gonna change it to make sure you're on AI Servio. Also, while I'm doing that, that also will allow you to put that center focal point, those little red dots inside your camera, that will allow you to move that so that you're able to lock in in the center weighted. The center weighted is always the sharpest, so we wanna keep it in the middle. And you do that by clicking this little star, this little um, button right here, it's a grid. It's just like the grid that's inside your camera. You're gonna hold that in and move the toggle button right here. And that will, you'll see those dots moving. You wanna put that in wherever you want your focus. So, you know, if you're gonna turn your camera up to a portrait, it's gonna be up at the top. If you're gonna turn it to the side, you're gonna have it in the middle, okay? So that's, that will help you tremendously. So make sure that we're on AI Servio and that your toggle button is set in the middle. Then we're gonna change all the way to the back button focus. If you have questions about any of this, please email me. I am here to help you however I can. I want you to be successful. I want you to have super sharp images. And this can be a little bit confusing. I'm, I'm hoping to give you a lot of information in the blog post below. But if you're just following along with the video, you should be able to um, set your settings there and then it's gonna take practice. All right, thanks guys. I hope to be back next week with another video.